So after soldering up the con flight controller, I tested its outputs to make sure I hadn't shorted two servo channels together or not soldered a ground into one of them. Basically, I took nine little servos, plugged them into the servo channels. Uh, then I moved some of them out here and I went into the software and uh, worked my way through all the servo channels, making sure that like when number six is moving, that number five and seven weren't moving too, where you get the signals shorted together or something like that. So I just got through testing all the servo channels and they work fine. Uh, did have to do some uh, different stuff on the uh, uh, controller. I'll show you here on the screen. Uh, I had to come in here, hook up the USB, of course, to the flight controller, and then come in here and set manual mode right here. And it shows right here I have manual mode set. And then I also came over here in the servo output and I enabled the extra, oops, ah, I just put RC pass through on these channels so that I could uh, have activity on those channels. Uh, to check 9, 10, 11, and 12. I did not check 13. 13's also the LED strip channel. Uh, to enable 9, 10, 11, and 12, I had to come into the full perimeter list. Uh, you can actually do it on the tree list too. And go down to servo, 9, 10, here we go, nine, and here is where I had to set the function for uh, RC pass-through. I had to set it to a one here for nine. Uh, here's 10, servo one, pass-through. 11, servo 1, pass through, and 12, uh, don't have that set, but the only thing you do is go in here and change that from a 0 to a 1, hit tab, and then go up here and write perimeters, and those are straight pass throughs now for all those channels, 1 through 12. Had to do four of them over here because in setup servo output, you can only get to eight of them to do the servo pass through over here. And also out here, I had to both set manual mode and then I had to also arm. See, it wants to know, are you sure you want to disarm? No, I don't. But I had the arm right here also to be able to pass through all 12 of those RC channels. So that proves the 12 RC channels on the 743 wing are uh, all good, sorted up well. All the grounds are sorted up properly. All the voltages are sold, sorted up properly. And all the signal pins on those 12 uh, connectors were sorted up well. Now I need to test the... Uh, other connectors that uh, the UARTs and stuff hook up to. I did have to hook up a RC receiver, little nano crossfire to it, so I could get uh, signals in from the radio.